ever hear of a show called My Crazy Obsession? Well, that's good because today we will be taking a look at TLC's strangest life forms and the creatures that reside in the deep below. So before we hop into what sentience exists on the TLC television network, first we need to carefully study the specimen on TikTok. So there's this new trend going on with TikTok where people stand in a circle, look down at the camera, and throw random objects up in the air, endangering their well-being, just to see who will stay and who will run away. <laughs> That's the fun part. <laughs> you're exactly, you're exactly correct. <laughs> One time we played this game outside, but instead of just throwing things, we actually used an army catapult and shot potatoes straight up. We ran for our actual lives. ER Relatable. visits. What is the purpose for your visit today? Um, a ladder landed on my head. Then there was this other time where we launched water balloons at our neighbor's houses. Light her up. All right, Light her lighten her up. Her up. Light her up. Oh, it's not all right. Now you can teach your kid to take out the trash, but you gotta be careful that the trash doesn't take out your kid. <laughs> Persistence. All right, all right, we're getting some. Oh. No. Oh my God. Oh my. I love how small the kid is, and his mom is just like, I thought I taught my kid better. The garbage can is bigger than him, dog. Our boy was struggling. Like, <laughs> fell and put your arm down on the list. As fall is in full swing and the leaves change colors, Caucasian James is still Caucasian. Fedora fall was fun while it lasted. Facebook mom fall is now in full swing. I hate this. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. We have been able to conclude what we already knew, that Caucasian James is that one mom who just gets a triple Ventai, Trentai, whatever that is. The scarf is just dashing. Great work, James. Hot girl summer is over and Facebook mom fall is here to stay. Sarah, get my scarf. Sam, you do not have a scarf. Huh? Facebook How did you do this? <laughs> How did you do this? So you guys know the rapper Eminem? Well, he's really good at solving Rubik's cubes, but I think this kid who's colorblind might just have him beat. <laughs> This is terrible. I think people's perception of colorblind is very literal and not really at all consistent with what it actually entails. Nope. But then again, I also can't solve a Rubik's Cube myself. So I suppose I should just dig a hole and jump in it like rice gum. Lest the internet find anything funny and not a targeted attack. <laughs> So there's a trend going around on TikTok where you just play some song with a really hard beat that comes in and you hard cut to your childhood pics and just kind of expose yourself. Hey, hey, you finna die, baby. Back What's up, BC Forum? YouTube, the only show where you get to watch a boomer and a millennial recycle Ray William Johnson memes the world forgot. Have you guys heard of the television show called My Crazy Obsession? Essentially, the show is about people who are f weird. <laughs> First off, we got Cockroach Girl. Flag. That sounded like a superhero. <laughs> it name. really did. Cockroach Girl. <laughs> Shelby Counterman, I am nine years old and I collect cockroaches. No, no, no. My collect cockroaches. Collecting cockroaches? Five check. When I started collecting roaches, I only had five. 
And now I have thousands. Yo, everybody thought Tyler, the creator, was hard with Yonkers. The number to my therapist. But have you met no. this girl? She's out here with thousands. I like roaches because when they call my arms, they tickle me. And when I hold them, they can be real happy. Um... Uh... I could do without them, but she really likes them, so... The dad's gaze is a little bit reminiscent of a cockroach now that I look at it. That man <laughs> is a cockroach! <laughs> hold on, hold on. If we draw antennas on him, yeah, the, the vibe is definitely there. The absolutely. vibe is definitely there. Vibe check. I absolutely don't love the cockroaches. Is that why you provide her with thousands of them in your home? Okay. Uh, but I can deal with them. I do have freak out moments every once in a while. Get them all. Never to escape, mommy. But overall, you know, I've come to accept Shelby's passions. Yeah, no, nothing wrong with cockroaches. I want to teach people about my roaches. Oh, you want to teach me about these roaches. Let's just review a few fun facts in regards to the sanitary nature of the cockroach. They feed on garbage, breed in sewage, and yeah, lay waste all over your Shelby's kitchen passion. counter. Cockroaches can carry pathogens that may cause disease. One study identified 30 different species of bacteria associated with cockroaches living in close proximity to humans. Current research shows that asthma and other They're allergies can be worsened by the like presence of cockroaches. Sunny. Asthma is the most prevalent cause of hospitalization in children. Cockroaches leave feces behind wherever they live and sleep. These droppings produce a pheromone that attracts other cockroaches to the area. Great! Attacking you? <laughs> Vibe check. Yeah, I think them being present may be the least of your concerns there, Mom. I just don't understand how our parents are letting this happen. These are my Madagascar hissing cockroaches. Oh my god. She is pregnant, and right here you can see her AK scene in the back of her abdomen. One day, she's going to unleash these on the entire world. We are all done for. Her parents do not know that they are providing their child means of world domination. I put them in egg cartons because they, they like, like the, the dark, dark better than the light no! they may be a little stinky once in a while okay what the, the roaches they do not buy this is a taxidermy beetle i use them to clean out the dead bugs in my cage so it doesn't smell so bad they're called taxidermy beetles because they eat the flesh off bones mm. So I've decided to get this scuba mask because we're getting pretty deep. The depths of TLC. But, you know, I think we might actually need to bust out the hazmat suits. Levels are just at maximum radioactivity. Not even pest control is willing to take on this We task. need more than an exterminator for this quarantine. Burn, Burn it, it to the, the ground. ground. But honestly, the cockroaches will survive because they survive yeah, everything. They like the dark, dark, dark better than the light. They do survive And everything. they do not die. So yeah, bring tons of those in your house. Good idea. Next up on Meme for YouTube, we've got the reincarnation of Weevil <laughs> from the hit anime Digimon. Uh, Joey. <laughs> And apparently instead of collecting bugs like he does in Naruto, you need to be stopped. I didn't even think for that to be a joke. The cockroach girl actually fits the bill for Weevil because he's like the bug guy. My beautiful bugs! Hello news. Yeah. Oh, Sequence news. Tesla has over 200,000 pre-orders for its divisive Cybertruck with no advertising and no paid endorsement, Elon Musk says. The thing just reminds me <coughs> of geometry class. Are you okay? <laughs> oh my god, Sam! But yeah, no, like the, the actual truck just reminds me of geometry <coughs> class. It's given me, you know, PTSD to be quite honest. Did you see the demo what? of Elon? He's so great about fans. It didn't really work too well. He goes, I think you may have thrown that too hard. Bro! Roll the clip. Yeah. Oh my no. god. Well, maybe that was a little too hard. <laughs> So I disagree with this whole title. Mashable posted an article saying Ryan Reynolds accidentally trolls Will Ferrell's SNL monologue, but it wasn't really trolling. It was more so just Will Ferrell flirting with Ryan Reynolds the whole time. Is it really you? <laughs> what am I saying? Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I 
Will, you gotta stop looking at me, okay? Demon Slayer manga overtakes Bleach and My Hero Academia in volume sales in the same time period. And it's about to beat Naruto. But yeah. That's hype. Yeah, Demon Slayer. Guys, I've watched it. Really, really, <laughs> really, 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 really good. Watch it. Apparently an Apple Watch saved a grandma's life by catching a heart condition. Maybe consider buying one of those this Christmas holiday as a gift. Yeah, so you don't die. Hotels are trying to win over gamers. Obviously, if you use any of those websites like Airbnb or anything where you can book a hotel, they have a listicle of amenities that you can check box. But now they're going to start introducing all kinds of amenities related to things that support gamers like setups, office work area, and that kind of thing. You're going to see their keywords get a little bit more specific and tailored to gamers as far as being able to select what you're looking for. So if you're traveling and you do gaming as a, if I don't get this, whether that be Twitch over for working on YouTube, you can now make sure that you have what you need to man and feel at home. But that concludes this episode of Vibe Out. Smash like, subscribe to the channel, follow our- It's over for all you Instagram fans. At Vibe Out Show, you know we post all the best content over there, the juiciest content on the internet. I promise you, it's better than TLC. You guys can ask us questions in the comments or even on Twitter if you'd like. We love you guys. Make sure to subscribe and- um, Vibe Out! Vibe out.